Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after that bit of student uh, light entertainment, uh, I'd just like to say you're all very, very welcome to this evening's public lecture. And can I ask you all to please welcome President Michael D. Higgins, his wife Sabina, and the Registrar and Deputy President of NUI Galway, Professor Paul um, O'Doherty, uh, to the auditorium. Okay, thank you very much, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Murray, and I'm the uh, chair of the organizing committee, um, which is of the symposium, which is uh, marking the 150th anniversary of the naming of Neanderthal people by William King. Um, just to say that King was the professor of uh, geology here in Queen's College Galway, as NUI was then known. And when he proposed the name, it was quite a radical idea at the time. It really was very, very uh, revolutionary for 19th century science. And the significance of it is that it represents um, a very, very significant milestone in the birth of paleoanthropology, that is, the study of human evolution. Um, so we're 150 years on from that very, very remarkable a historic uh, proposal. And that appeared in print in 1864. And tonight's public lecture is really the highlight of a, a, a weekend celebration which is happening here in NUI Galway to mark the event. So without further ado, could I please ask the Registrar and Deputy President of NUI Galway, Professor Paul O'Doherty to come forward and address the audience. <coughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much, John. I walked around the Heron, Sabina Higgins, distinguished speakers, colleagues, conference delegates, students alumni and visitors. William Falches Fisch a Hur Ru of Gulier and Sean Alyvanot, Egan Ja Okai Shaw. As Registrar and Deputy President of NUI Galway, I'm delighted to be here this evening to welcome you to the campus for this public event which celebrates Galway's links with Neanderthal Man through the work of Professor William King. I extend a very warm Kid Mila Falche to Uthran Naheran, President Dr. Michael D. Higgins, accompanied by Mrs. Sabina Higgins, Professor Svante Pebo, tonight's keynote speaker, and a pioneer in the field of paleogenetics, and to members of the extended King family who join us to honour the achievements of their antecedent, William King. And to each of you today, who are here to learn more about the origins of humankind. This event is the highlight of an academic symposium held on campus over the past few days and continuing tomorrow to celebrate the 150th anniversary of the naming of Neanderthal Man by one of the founding professors of this university. In 1864, William King, professor of geology at the then Queen's College Galway, coined the term Homo Neanderthalensis. King's proposal was to formally designate Neanderthal people as a separate species from ourselves. His suggestion was both extraordinary and revolutionary for its time. Charles Darwin's masterpiece, Origin of Species, 
had been published just five years before. King's work represents one of the first steps towards our understanding today of human evolution. He remains the first person to name a new fossil human species, a privilege afforded to very few scientists. King was the founding professor of the Department of Geology in Queen's College Galway at its opening in 1849. Geology would later merge in 2003 with geophysics and oceanography to form the School of Earth and Ocean Sciences. And this school at NUI Galway is unique among comparable departments or disciplines in Ireland. No other Irish university offers a similarly integrated degree program involving a blend of traditional earth science with marine and oceanographic subjects. This is quite remarkable given Ireland's island nation status and very close proximity to the Atlantic Ocean. Close proximity indeed. We're surrounded by it if you look at it a certain way. <laughs> the unique Earth and Ocean Sciences undergraduate degree has proven highly successful. In 2013, 28 final years graduated from the programme. This represents the largest single earth science related class of students to any graduate from any Irish higher education institute ever. Our graduates are highly employable. They find work not only here in Ireland, but they're also in demand around the world in industries from oil and gas exploration to hydrology and water resources to finance and even, though we don't mention it these days, banking. <laughs> Our distinguished speaker this evening is Professor Svante Pebo, Director of the Department of Evolutionary Genetics at the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology in Leipzig. Und mir ist bekannt, dass ganz viele da sind aus Deutschland und ich möchte Sie ganz herzlich begrüßen hier in Galway. Uh, Professor Pabo is widely regarded, and I apologize, Professor Pabo, that I, that I can't say that in your own native Swedish, but you are working in Germany. Uh, Professor Pebo is widely regarded as a founder in the fairly young field of paleogenomics, or ancient DNA. His work in isolating and extracting genetic material from the fossil bones of creatures long extinct has been quite, quite simply groundbreaking. He has received numerous international awards and accolades for his work, including the Gruber Prize, the Kistler Prize, the Theodor Bouchard Medal, and the Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz Prize, which is the highest honor awarded in German science. His research work has captured the public imagination and has featured in the international media, NPR, BBC, Discovery Channel, National Geographic, to name just four. In 2007, Time magazine included Professor Pebo in their list of 100 most influential people in the world. And this is a particularly noteworthy feat, as it predated some of his most significant publications, including the first full draft sequence of the Neanderthal genome, which was published in Science in 2010. But also, because he's neither a politician, a businessman, nor a rock star, outside of geological circles, I presume. <laughs> Neanderthal people are perhaps our most iconic, yet enigmatic relatives. They played a critical role in the demonstration that humanity evolved. Their scientific recognition immediately required the acceptance that there has been more than one species of human, an idea which Professor William King championed 150 years ago when he first proposed their proper scientific name. It is interesting to imagine what he would think if he were sitting here in the auditorium with, this, with us this evening. But one thing is certain, I have no doubts he would be fascinated to hear Professor Pebo's views and opinions on these distant prehistoric peoples. There is perhaps no more important a question we can ever hope to ask in science than, and it's three questions rolled into one, who are we, where have we come from, and where are we going to? Professor Pebo and his research team have addressed this question head on and discovered things about our shared human evolutionary history which we could never possibly have imagined. More importantly, they have replaced conjecture and speculation around this most important of concerns with serious scientific investigation and endeavor. In conclusion, 
I would like to pay tribute to the organizers of the Neanderthal 150 conference, led by Dr. John Murray and his colleagues. John Murray, yeah. Thank Professor Pebo and all the visiting speakers, as well as the conference supporters. Acknowledge and thank both President Higgins and members of the extended King family for being with us, all of them, for being with us to share in our celebration of William King and his unique part in Irish and international scientific heritage. Gurumila Maigav Gilliard.